Greetings and salutations. I am the Raven. What the? Come on. Oh, yay. It's uh, not sharing the game with me. It's not sharing because it's probably just frozen up. Excuse me, folks, while we sort this technical problem. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Oh, is it willing? Okay, it's willing for me. I, I can see it on my end. <coughs> so, yes, it's been a while since we last touched this. Dawn of the Monsters, I'm your host, The Raven. This is my co hosting Urban Renewal, JK Lantern. In a, currently living in a town in the middle of Urban Renewal. <laughs> I've actually been really enjoying my new digs. Good to hear. Ah, yes. We went to Mission 4 and I'm about halfway through it, I believe. And we're about to face a new Alpha and it's been... Six months since we last touched this, so it's, this is going to be fun. Searching the Mount Fuji area. They've confirmed the presence of both a nest and a monarch. It is snowing on Mount Fuji. Commander Fosco is in Brussels, coordinating with the rest of the Defense Division. They're devising an attack plan to send in the atoms. <sighs> hey guys, it's me, Fosco! Did you out anything about that machine we found downtown? I'm afraid we've had no word from Syncor yet. It's fine. We'll continue to weed the Nephilim out in the region, while we wait on word about the nest. Okay. I just had to remember how this works a little bit. Yeah, Cody's not giving me the uh, usual controls, control scheme in the prompt, so uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's not space, it's that! <laughs> <laughs> Ghost. Like we said, it's been a minute since we've touched this. Yes. One of us has changed town since then. Okay. Weak attack. Strong attack. Charge. Also, uh, dodge. That brings up... Okay. Sorta of remember how this works. Sorta. Of. It's a bit of a bit of a renewal, starting with some fossil renewal. Clearly these buildings were not up to code. No, no, clearly not. You can't handle a giant humanoid and a giant monster, what's the point? Mm hmm. In case you were wondering, fire hot. Oh, God. Those bastards. Right, you guys that look stupid. Well, the, these comments coming from when we've already started the uh, Chroma Squad LP. <laughs> ah, Chroma Squad. I like that game for a lot of the same reasons I like this one. It's very much a labor of love. Oh yeah. Christ, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> ah, my favorite rage attack. How to juggle.
Ow. Well, I'm just gonna lie here for- we're off to a great start already. Sir, no laying down on- Let me get you up. No. Oh, great. Uh, it says K, which is... There we go. Actually, we both, both doing pretty well. That looked really cool. Miss Cruces, what's this new monarch's name? It's not quite, quite a camera, right a kick, but it'll do. It suits her. Take that trees. Okay, now my controller is being drunk. It, it'd be better if you can control it wasn't being drunk when you're standing in the lava. Apparently, it doesn't want to go left now. Oh. That's concerning. Yeah! Especially since that guy's right there. I mean, push comes to shove, I could steal Star's controller, but I'd prefer not to. That's just be stealing your socks. That, that is... <laughs> that has been a thing. That's... <laughs> we... We will be doing things, and she will get up, and she will come back, and I'm like, Wait a minute. Are you wearing my socks? Or, or we will be sitting there doing things, and she will attempt to pull my socks off of my feet. Said it before, I said it again. Rude. And because I have giant ass feet, that means getting socks onto me is hard. Which means that getting socks off of me, also hard. So this frequently involves dragging me around the living room. Buy my socks. That is quite the mental image. No! Get up my socks! Uh, game, I would like to go left. Okay, I can just use the D-pad, it's fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. <clears throat> it possibly be in need of a new controller. I don't want to buy a new controller. Ooh, I wonder if... I wonder if, like, a GameCube USB controller would be compatible with this. For the glorious sake of science. <laughs> I know there are attachments for the Switch to make otherwise... Uh, yeah. ...controllers work for it. I've considered buying some of those, but again, like, I don't want to shell out the money. Yeah. The, the, the things I'm willing to and unwilling to shed, shell out money for are kind of hilarious. Do you want to buy shoes for yourself? No! Do you want to help your friend buy a statue for their desk? Yes! <laughs> To finish the bet in another strike on. I'll help you with that! <laughs> <laughs> Does you have a big feather in it? It will do. I, I made Griffin a couple of art pieces for her birthday, but I haven't actually bought her a birthday present, which is bad because her birthday was like two weeks ago. You know what? The art pieces, I would say, are more than enough. But it is a gift in itself. I mean, she's one of my best friends on the planet. We we have been through a lot. <laughs> something you produced yourself it says says something. There's thought and feeling in it. Uh, 
I am being juggled by flame. you, Jamila? Oh, I'm fine. Galahad's cooling systems are I great. think you need this more than I do. How about next mission? You let me the... pilot the atom. The Galahad clearly has double heat sinks. Yes, I made a Battletech joke. Nerd. I, I still love that you're actively plotting to possibly get <laughs> Battletech miniatures just so I will be through forced to paint them. Yes. <laughs> that is li <laughs> It is a spite gift. Yes. I've only marked this case of, oh yes, that's the mech that caused you so much pain in the Zubot's LP. It'll get you that. Oh, wrong way! Ah, uh, whenever, whenever you do that move, it reminds me of Street Fighter. The, uh, Sean, the, the Akuma thing, you know what I'm talking about. The Akuma, is, isn't that the guy in the black... Black Deeks with the red hair and Betty Rayu's nemesis? Yes, yeah. That somehow got into another game. A serious yep. path. You know, that, that would be the one. I've never really played... Street Fighter after Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Really? I played a bit of Alpha in the arcades. Al Alpha? The uh, Street Fighter Alpha series are my favorite Street Fighter games. Not that my knowledge of Street Fighter is exhaustive. Um, <laughs> I've basically played Street Fighter 2 and all of the Alpha games, and then after that it's just like, yep, those existed and I never played them because I didn't have a video game console at the time. Oh, playing games before. I think I played Street Fighter 2 Turbo on normal difficulty, on normal speed. It is slow and sluggish. See, see, for for a while, my primary fighting game on a console was Gundam Battle Assault, as you have possibly seen on a uh, Star Princess HLTs. Well. Channel um, and Gundam Battle Assault by its nature is slow and clunky. So like, slow and clunky fighters are not something I'm unfamiliar with. How about you, Jamila? Oh, I'm fine. Galahad's cooling systems are great. How about next mission? You let me pilot the atom. The thing is, if you get me Battletech miniatures, like, one of the mechs is going to wind up as your mech, which means I'm going to also- I'm gonna need to figure out which mech it is, and I'm gonna need to figure out which faction you're gonna belong to. <laughs> and that is a long it, and constant process. Yes, it is! Because, because there are a lot of factions. Again, depending on which mechs I w <laughs> I wound up with, it narrows it down. But depending, it might narrow it down not a lot. And the thing to go with that joke is I just need someone to cough up your address first. There are th three... <laughs> Technically, four people in the server who know my address. Star, obviously, Griffin, and Sirot, I imagine. Because Sirot. Uh, Sirot, Sirot doesn't. Um, so, how do you get, the, get you that book then? Uh, which book? Oh, Sirot had my old address. Ah. He, he doesn't have my current address. But yeah, like even before I moved, Griffin was like, "Address now." <laughs> I actually don't have Griffin's address, believe it or not. Um, I, 
I have one of her old addresses, but I never, I never got her address after uh, she got married and she and her husband moved. God, I remember years ago just when Mark is a I don't care to have other people's dresses because then it's so because some certain thing me bothers with prostitutes and whatnot. It's about gifts. Of ah, no! Get up! <laughs> Get up, for the love of God! <laughs> Get up, you're the competent one! Barely. You're the only one who knows how this game works! Come to actually use the address. Admittedly, I did get Yoko that book. It, it, it was simply a case of Yoko, like, my, my dear, found niece. Let's come down. I can finally get Yoko something she won't object to. We're doing this. I had <laughs> Meg's address at one point. Um, and I got her a plushie. Which I think is on her keys currently. I couldn't swear to it, obviously, because I haven't talked a lot to Meg recently, but, um... This is all whole thing, it's just... The parts were correct, I never really got to DM a lot from Meg. Yeah. I, I know she's in, like, eight different D&D &D campaigns right now, so... Oh, here is some of the delightful stuff that's happening in the... In a drug, drug and heist game. <laughs> I want cars I... to get up to, in that game. Welp. Okay, I was getting sloppy. So, so if you had a battle mech, you'd want it to be energy weapon heavy, right? Yes, I'm comfortable. How about you, Jamila? Uh. Because you mentioned you wanted something like the Genosaur. Oh, yeah. So, so you'd want... Okay, that suggests to me something that's PPC heavy, or at least has a PPC of some sort. Okay, there's, there's definitely mechs I can work with from both of those kits. Welcome to Lantern Hyperfixates, people! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, when when start possibly starting the combo squad L LP, the market on the market method beginning was getting. Ooh, this is a chance for me to talk about Toku Satchel I've been watching. It has happened yet. I like again. I haven't watched Power Rangers since the '90s because I got peer pressured out of it. You know, like ooh, Power Rangers are for babies, that sort of thing. Um. But, like, there, there, there is a charm to those kind of shows, and if you were to show one of them in the server, I, I would gladly watch it. I would, I would mock parts of it, sure, but there's something, like, pure and silly and just fun about that kind of show. God, the, it, it, there's a parody series among the Sentai. <laughs> It's a case of, um, it's definitely a <coughs> aimed at the older audience, but again, the Sentai can get rather dark sometimes. Oh hell. Everything's going wrong. Um, I think this might be an abandoned recording session and practice is needed. Well, do we, have, do we have anything else we can record? We'll figure it out in a minute. Yeah. The only reason I keep this one is a let's fail. Let's fails are fun. Plus, we've talked about fun things here. Yes. Why am I using the joystick? The joystick demonstrably is defective. <laughs> In some ways, I like D-pads any better anyway. It's about going over the old uh, snares and snares. I find myself going to the, the D-pad, the directional stick. Admittedly, 
I was very much <coughs> game in the good old days of the 80s and 90s where it's the Amstrad and it's the joystick. And God, I've ruined so many joysticks. Yeah, I was I was talking to Serrat a while back, and um, I can't remember what game we were discussing, but I was like, I think it was one of those instances where I was like, we should do a random fighting game video at some point. And he, his response was basically, not unless I have like an arcade style joypad in front of me. And I'm like, really? Because se several of the fighting game Granted, arcades were already starting to die off, like, when I was a teenager, so I didn't go to them as much, but, uh... Like, I I remember playing a lot of fighting games, and because, just by virtue of what we had on hand, we're using the D-pad to do that. Gr granted, for One Must Fall, we, uh... Courage and I always did that on a keyboard. Because we didn't, we didn't have a controller for our computer. It might be a new type of alpha. Dor and I have been tossing around the idea of doing, ow, doing some form of OMF video. Yeah. But it might just, it might be a case of us getting a whole bunch of. Uh, footage and then commenting splicing it together and commenting over like why this game meant something to me um because behind the scenes a couple of weeks back we we attempted to do a dungeon hack lp and the game is fine the game is fine dungeon hack is a great game it doesn't lend itself well to good commentary like, we're, we're going through it, and, like, we tried a couple different things, like, oh, maybe we'll do it as our some of our small characters. We have nothing to say here. Well, maybe we'll talk about the game. Welp, I'm hunting down an orc, and I'm hunting down an orc, and here's an item of some kind, and I'm hunting down an orc. Huh? So, yeah, we have all this footage for Dungeon Hack, and it's just like, wow, this is going to be a painfully dull LP. So, we're still figuring out what we want to do with that. J just, because a, just because a game is good doesn't mean it LPs well. Yeah, that reminds me of when I was trying to do uh, an Eye of the Beholder LP for, for my Sunday slots. It came down to, this ain't working. We're about 20 minutes, half an hour in, and it's... Yeah, yeah, this very much we've got nothing to say here. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Where's the get up button? What? Game! Oh, I need a filled thing, that's why. Well, this is problematic. The party we're going with was case of just... The only character that returned was Orland, a... a dwarf fighter of mine that's existed from my Dragon Age days. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jamila? And a certain halfling thief. Galahad's cooling systems are great. Because we didn't have a bard. The next mission, you let me pilot the atom. Jif was so no no peace. Same man is because uh I behold her LP would have lasted quite a while. See, when we were recording Dungeon Hack, our hopes were to make just, like, some ridiculous characters who, um, would just kind of be noodle incidents for the smalls, like, oh yeah, I, god, I'm trying to remember the name of the paladin that we came up with. In theory, I could just go over to Star's computer, and if I remembered the login info for it, which I don't, by the way... <laughs> And it's frankly better that way that I don't. I don't need to be going through her computer without her supervision. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, the first run of Dungeon Hack we did where I died, it was, 
it was a wizard that um Sai had heard about who was a failure at everything he did. So so then her, his cousin the paladin who was like Lady Vorpal Kickasso or something and her mighty hammer <laughs> went seeking him. I, I got the gloves of fire giant strength and the maul of the titans. I was a very happy lantern. Oh. Well, that's... Cause... I know that combination. I, I can count on one hand the amount of times playing dungeon hack as a kid where we got that combo. Because the only way you can use the maul of the titans is if you have those damn gloves. Okay, this is our third attempt at the Alpha, but we are doing better. Arguably. In the day how when I use my ultimate, I am facing the right way. Okay, that's just dickish. Ah! Okay, now we're doing this. Special Bean Cannon! Nail gun. That I love. I love the fact that nail gun works as a name for the thing really well. <laughs> I just this response in the bit series. Damn, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> like when they made that joke, I was like, "Wow, that's actually really good. I like that. I get why it wouldn't have worked in the original show, but." Damn. Give me, give, give me another bar. Yes! Got you! We are not failures! He says that... <laughs> he listens as he's still in his pajamas. I make good life decisions. Look, is an adult's right, right to be in your pajamas at the end of, in over the course of the day if you don't have anywhere to be? <laughs> uh, I I've made a point of trying to get r dressed on a daily basis. Although there was one, there was one day this week where I clearly wasn't doing well, and like. Star comes home and she's like, "Wow, you should go back to bed. <laughs> you, you, you look awful." <laughs> That's fair. I'm like, you're probably right. <laughs> okay, um, that dick, Sir Snippy. I'm obviously be Sir. Sir Slicey? Be so be frankly, it's... you're not Slyper. <laughs> uh, I, I remember when I... Want to read? Awesome. I remember when I was into Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I really wanted a card of Slyper the Sky Dragon. That, that was my favorite of the Egyptian God cards. I have... Are you ready? The... The God cards, the... I think they called the <clears throat> they called the sacred beast in the dub. They called it something else in the other one, and I have the wicked gods from the Yu-Gi-Oh R series. Okay. Oh, oh. Let me Every now and then, I get the wicked urge to be like, "Oh, I'm gonna get more Yu-Gi-Oh cards or more Pokemon cards," and then part of my brain's like, "Why?" You're not gonna do shit with them. You don't need those, wow. Lantern. <laughs> you for a telepath, AG? Today I've, put a, I've ordered online Keshi Yer to two of the Digimon starter decks. Is he? Hmm. Why? Because I've been tempted for a while now. I should, by the rare chance, 
where Kikyo comes to visit. We have our duel at dawn, finally. Nice. Again, Digimon is something I really need to do a deep dive into, because, like... Spot, like, in the US, you were either a Digimon kid or a Pokemon kid, and Spotsylvania was definitely Pokemon country. Yamanashi is not far from the Monarch Slayer. I expect yes, I have a time for busy with Pokemon, fiery. Digimon, or Monster Mancer. In my neck of the woods, nobody knew... I was the only one who knew what Monster Rancher was because I saw precisely one episode of the anime with it. <laughs> 